Titillating Tuesday. Does it make you laugh? Does it make you laugh? Yeah, it better do. Listen, I was talking about um, mm, a nice rum. You know, it's like it's good for the chest. You know, you can uh, all cough medicine got alcohol in them anyway. Mm? I was thinking if I had a woman, I want her to smell like this rum, you know. Captain Morgan Spice, you know. That, man, if my woman smell like that, I'll be on her all night, you know. <laughs> and I won't be popping on her still. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, that's a beautiful smell. Molasses, sugar cane. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one. Mm? Mm. So anyway, back to these jokes about perps. Um... Sometimes we we make mistakes about perps. <clears throat> like I used to think that you know, like every man gets his random erections, isn't it? <clears throat> I didn't know that, you know. So I thought someone was perping me. You know what I mean? Making my dick <laughs> stand up <laughs> and um, putting me in awkward situations, like where I'm like, shit. If somebody wants me to come, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a crowd. And somebody says, oh, come here, come here for a minute. And I can't stand up because <laughs> my dick hurts. <laughs> but it's not that. You know, because sometimes when I was at uni, I was reading math. And um, I was in a library. And my dick got hard. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody's playing with me. It wasn't that. Hmm? It's the O's. Yeah. The O's. Like, if you're reading binary... You're looking at ones and zeros. It's the zeros. When a one's standing next to a zero, <laughs> that looks like a a woman's, you know, <laughs> private zone. Yeah. So your dick's gonna naturally get hard if you're a man. Yeah. If you're a man like me, that's a heterosexual your dick gets hard anyway. So I noticed that every time I do math, my dick <laughs> gets random erections. So <laughs> I'm thinking, um, when I was doing binary, you breeze through that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ask it. Um, how do you do one? That's one. How do you do two? That's one and one whole. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's three? Three. That's one one. That's two months. You don't need that. <laughs> yeah. What's four? That's one and two holes. <laughs> so you say what's five? <laughs> That's one, a whole, and the next man. You don't need that. <laughs> you might want to free some, but that's a five. So I said six then. <laughs> that's two mans and a whole. That's awkward. <laughs> What's seven? Seven, that's three mans. What's, what, what do you need seven for? <laughs> that's three mans. One, one, one. <laughs> What's eight? Now, eight is good. <laughs> eight is one and three holes. One, oh, oh, oh. You see what I mean? That's 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 real. That's real. Yeah. <laughs> so you say what's nine? That's one o oh, o oh, one. That's two months and two holes. That's all right. <laughs> you see. So I breeze through binary. I found it very easy to do, and I was excited. And always got an erection through binary. <laughs> you see. So sometimes when we do get aroused, it's not because someone's popping you. I hear about succubi. Oh, succubus says, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I do, but, the, you know, at the moment, you know, yo, <laughs> when when a succubus visits you, that's the first thing that visits a man, that's when you have your wet dream, you don't know what fucked you, you wake up wet, <laughs> that's a succubus, <laughs> yeah, it's a part, but it's not, it, it's just trying to remind you of life, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, um, so, your relationship with your succubus is very private and um, it's sacred as well. It's some, something that was designed into us. It's like you're born and you're assigned a succubus. Uh, sometimes the succ succubus is neglectful. They must have other duties. <laughs> they must have bare months that they do, like three or four months at the same time and just on the circuit, you know, worked out, <laughs> might need a massage. Just like, <laughs> But it's, it's, it's like that, you know, sometimes... When you do get aroused out of nowhere, um, just look at what you're doing. If there's anything that looks like, yeah, well, it depends on your sexuality. I'm a heterosexual. If anything that looks like a whole, um, I could, uh, I could, I know exactly what happened. It's like, yeah, your your dick that 
<laughs> seen that hole and if you're fucked for a long time you it's gonna think <laughs> so it's like that and and you see comment if you agree with me if you if you're somebody who's ever studied math and you got random erections doing math yeah or if you get random erections and you look around and you see something that resembles a vagina and you're a man yeah or if you're a woman <laughs> if you're a woman you're gonna find it hard everything looks erect in Egypt, it would have been hard for a woman to, <laughs> to stop a clip from hardening, man. <laughs> Obelisks everywhere. Like, <laughs> it's very, very difficult <laughs> if you're a heterosexual woman. <laughs> so um, bear in mind that some of the times we do uh, mistakenly think that we're being perpetrated on when something that can be explained. Um, so that's been Titillating Tuesday um, for today, the 31st of March. <laughs> 2020 does it make you laugh does it make you laugh that's it